Hi, I'm Shauna from Family Travel Fever, and I am sitting in my 35-foot Jayco travel trailer that we rent out to other families to have a vacation. Let me tell you a little bit how we got into this. We flew, our family flew to Canada for a vacation to Toronto, and we decided to rent an RV for our family. I found a company called Canada Dream. We rented a motorhome and took an amazing vacation. We fell in love with RVing, we came home, we've had our travel trailer, and now we rent to other families to create a vacation for them. So we have a little bit, or a lot, I'd say, experience in helping families, helping people create uh, an amazing, unforgettable RV vacation for them. So what I wanted to tell you today is all the secret hacks that I know about finding an, a cheap RV to rent. I know they can be expensive, so let's first talk about how much is it really to rent an RV. The average price, the, it ranges depending on the type of rig that you want to rent, and you can spend anywhere between 75 and 250 or more dollars a night. RVs rent by the night, and sort of like a hotel room you pay by the night um, and it all depends on the type. Now if you're renting a smaller RV or a mini or a pop-up, uh, some kind of pull behind, it could be $75 to $125 a night. Uh, the larger um, motorhomes, for example the Class A fancy motorhomes have everything or the really large travel trailers or fifth wheels. Um, those can be up over $200 a night for the person. So of course you want to get the best deal that you can. Here are my best hacks to help you save 50 to 90% off your nightly rental of an RV. First up, what we did is found a coupon or a discount. So that's my first idea for you is to find coupons and discounts. The way I initially found one was I was calling around to find out the prices and I just asked. So one of the easiest ways to find a coupon or a discount is to actually call the local RV company in the area that you want to rent and ask. Ask what the uh, latest coupons and discounts are. Some of them have seasonal, some of them have overstock, that sort of thing, um, and just ask. Another way is um, on the peer-to-peer -peer networks. For example, we rent out our trailer and we're part of that network. I can give you a $50 coupon for your very first time. I'll put that down in uh, the links. It's also on our blog at familytravelfever.com. This, it's in this article, which is Cheap RV Rental and you can look it up there if you need more information about what I'm talking about here. The next idea I have for you is a relocation deal. Similar to cars or trucks, um, during the summer all of the RVs need to go north to the mountains and uh, Colorado, Washington, all the places north that people love to camp in the summertime. Then in the winter those need to go back south for people camping in California, Arizona, Florida. And so you could find a deal where you can rent the car, the RV and just drive that for them. Sometimes it's free or a dollar a night. Uh, sometimes it's a very low fee. Cruise America does this and they frequently have that on their website. Also a company called Transfer Car will show you the uh, deals uh, around the country for various companies. The next one I have for you is to rent from your peers, and that's what we do. We actually rent out our personal travel trailer. This is what we vacation in, and people come by and they pick it up, and then they vacation as well. That's, um, that's another way, and frequently it's cheaper. What people love about this is it's a little older. It's actually a 2012, and so we're able to rent it out to people cheaper than a company would we make a little money, they make a little money, and it's lived in, so they're not worried about scuffs or a little dirt here or there. Major damage, nobody wants, but you can uh, live in it and enjoy your time. So that brings me to the next point, is actually to tow with your own vehicle. 
frequently renting a travel trailer or a pop-up, something that you tow behind is cheaper than a motor home or another um, RV with a, an engine that you drive. So what we do, people just drive here with their truck and hook up to the trailer. They tow it away and go on their vacation. They have their own truck and all of their own seating in the truck. We just provide the trailer. So if you have a truck that you can tow with, if you look again on the peer-to-peer sites like the ones that we use are RV Share and Outdoorsy. We're actually on both platforms and we rent from both platforms. You can find a variety of different types of RVs that you could tow with your own truck. So the next hack I have is just go small. Look for the smallest RV that you can rent, a small trailer or a small RV. Motorhomes can be 20, 25 to 30 feet and those are actually perfect for fitting into national parks. They'll be cheaper for you to rent and you'll have more option of the places that you can see. This brings me to the next hack is if you have family and friends who have an RV, ask to borrow it. Just ask. Um, a lot of times people don't rent out or loan out their RV and we found this when we were first trying to decide what to do. Um, a lot of people won't but some people will and once we had ours we actually had family and friends ask us to rent it and we tried that. It worked out great. We moved on to the peer-to-peer platforms and uh, of uh, RV share and outdoorsy and now we're we got into renting it but if you have if you are known as being responsible you have more of a chance of pulling this off but you can ask approach your family or friends who are known if you already know them that they might be likely to uh, rent or let you borrow theirs ask them ask them if you can give them a rental fee or uh, rent from them or borrow it just for the weekend and see how that goes. Here's a tip. If you do borrow an RV, the best thing that you can ever do for somebody is return it clean and with a couple of things fixed. We actually had a friend borrow our trailer and they used it for a couple of days. The most wonderful thing was when we got, when they brought it back, the next time that we took it out, we kept going through the trailer and finding little things that they had fixed or bought us. They bought us a new rug for our stairs and they didn't even really tell us. We just discovered all these wonderful little things. And I think it was it was very small amount of effort on their part, but it was so huge for us. So they are our, our favorites. You want to be somebody's favorite. Our next tip a fly in my travel trailer. The next tip is check uh, the local newspaper. I have seen people advertising locally for their own company in our local newspaper and um, sometimes those might be those are a local person and they might be cheaper than one of the larger companies or they might be able to give you a deal you can negotiate with them. And then also um, Our last tip is to find local RV dealerships. They frequently rent out uh, RVs, so if you look at a local dealership, they may have better deals and um, locations that you would not normally be able to rent a trailer. So if you liked all these tips, we have a blog post on the blog. Our blog is Family Travel Fever, and this is the cheap RVs post. I'll link that down there. I also promised you a coupon for your first rental from Outdoorsy, so I will add that. And I want to remind you, if you like all these tips, if you're headed out on an RV trip uh, for your family and you want to make sure that you have the most amazing, unforgettable time, make sure you subscribe. This is part of a series. I'm doing to help people plan their trips and get the most out of their RV road trip. And I'll see you in the next part.